Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the Mike Check 1212. Is this thing on? Please hit the thumbs up, the subscribe, and the notification bell if you enjoy my live streams and new videos. Now, I have a, a few things to go over today, but this is a thread from Kingdom Prepare. And uh, it seems every time I do a thread, a video on one of these threads, uh, you guys seem to like it because he puts some interesting material out there for you. And I like to share it. He is on Twitter, so go follow him on Twitter at Kingdom Prepare One. All right, I will leave the link in the description. <laughs> All right, so uh, hopefully you guys are doing superb today. Um, I'm having a pretty good day. Uh, so now this is going to be about the IMF, um, Stellar, XRP. Now. Also, I just want to tell you tonight, I believe midnight or tomorrow midnight, 12 a.m. Um, what is it? The December 12th is the snapshot for uh, the Spark airdrop. So a lot of people are asking me my thoughts. And so I'll just let you know on YouTube so I don't have to keep messaging on Twitter. Um, my thoughts on that are it's safe i mean if if coinbase is supporting it if all those all the uh the ledger you know if the, if ripple is supporting it flare is going to be you know a smart contract uh service for for enterprise for ripple i mean that's huge so yeah i mean why not but i'm not going to use all my xrp um i'm gonna participate but i'm just gonna use like honestly just maybe a fifth of my xrp um, and I'm gonna throw it on Coinbase, you know, a lot of people <laughs> don't like Coinbase, but You know, I, I'm not trying to sell my XRP. So, you know, I'm gonna throw my uh, XRP on Coinbase and then I'll take it off when it's done or, or maybe I'll leave it on. I don't know. I think they're gonna become a bank pretty soon So it, to me, I don't think it's gonna matter. But anyways, um We'll see and regulations should be coming anytime. All right guys. Now, let's, let's go on into this thread. Kingdom Prepare, post number 251, IMF and Ripple XRP, The Rise of the Phoenix, part four. In the previous post number 250, we linked the possibility of Stellar, Lumens, XLM coin to be tied to the IMF new global monetary system. Take a look at the Phoenix again. Depending on the angle, we see either the letter X or the plus sign. Okay, right, now keep in mind, this is the thread that I'm going over. This is a thread of his. Not all of his opinions are my own, but I do want to show this to you because it's very, it's just interesting. It's always interesting what he puts. Ripple. And first of all, I want to retweet the whole thing. Um, I, sometimes I, I don't <laughs> retweet the uh, the ones that I go over and I don't like them so I, I do want to show support for the tweets that I go over in my videos and the, the uh, Twitter handles letter X plus sign if if it is the plus sign is IMF hinting at the increase of prices for their chosen crypto coins if it is the letter X could IMF be referring to the ripple XRP coin the similarities cannot be ignored no matter how much you like or dislike XRP, be wise and pick up some crypto coins now. Hoddle it and wait for the IMF to do whatever they need to do first. So, I mean, come on, yeah, just <laughs> at least consider it, you know, just, you know, give me a break, man. You don't think they're going to do something with XRP or Stellar? Give me a break, people. Part one here. Okay, IMF remaking the post-COVID world, the Great Reset. Okay, now I went over this uh, in one of my videos a few months ago. This lecture will examine the impact of technical technological change and automation in industrialized nations, which has caused a huge increase in inequality between capital and labor, and uh, and between high and low education workers. Disparities which have now been further deepened by it's very yeah deepened by the virus. It is really getting 
the gap is widening. It's I can see it. It's going to widen so much. And uh, people are starting to get desperate. They want to get into that top 1%. I'm telling you. People want to get into that top 1%. But there's going to be a few catalysts, I believe, that are unexpected um, by most people that will change things for most people. Um, this is a post. They said, join us December 4th, 1030 a.m., for the Richard, the sixth Richard Good Lecture, Remaking the Post-COVID World, presented by Professor Dr. Darren Akamugul. I don't know how to say it. This lecture examines the relationship between technology change and inclusive economic growth. So now, you know, COVID happened. Now 2021. We start uh, developing a new post-COVID world, right? Since COVID changed just about... Well, COVID changed a lot of aspects of our lives, guys. Now, if there are any other catalysts that might happen, I'm not saying there will be. I don't know if there will be. I don't know. I hope not. I hope no. This was a big catalyst, guys. We had quite a few catalysts this year, and it's been harsh on a lot of people. I hope next year we we find unity. I hope we find unity. I hope we... Uh, are, I really do hope we can rebuild something magical and new you know but that's what happens that's what happens look at what happened back in you know uh the great depression that's what happened it a lot of bad things happened back then to a lot of people they got tired and desperate a lot of people were depressed a lot of people got really down angry you know um and you know and then we had the world war we had we had world war Two and uh and all that stuff but you know and then so a lot of good came after all that you know so that's what happens okay now 2020 1998 and i think it was 1988 wasn't it let's see oh okay so that's what he's showing wow that is a phoenix yeah that's the phoenix that's so cool they act there, the IMF, that is a phoenix right there. They're telling us COVID was the phoenix and we're going to burn cash. You know, cash, we're going cash. So it's not, it might not happen today, you know, but it's going to happen eventually. I mean, if you have two eyes, then you'll be able to see that it's happening. Okay. Um, and this guy's got a lot of good threads, so go check him out. Sixth Richard Good Lecture, okay, refer to, look, he has all these posts that he tells you to refer to, okay. Um, part two here, all right, IMF and the rise of the phoenix, phoenix rising out of the ashes, so that's basically what they are signaling, Came the economist cover, and if you didn't know, this is the most covered topic in XRP and uh, Stellar. I mean, everyone uses this picture, and that's fine, because it's, you know, it's like, it's monumental. It's like, it's something that is, uh, basically, it's, it's something that uh, that is, uh, I forgot the word, but you know, you know what I'm talking about, anyways. Um, in 2020, a rebirth of a new monetary system. This new system could include cryptos, gold, and central bank digital currency, CBDCs. IMF is leading the charge in this new world monetary order. They're hiding it in plain sight for all to see. Yeah. This C-19 virus crisis could be their excuse to roll out their plans for global monetary dominion from year 2020 onwards. Well, the World Economic Forum lays it all out on their website. So yeah, it is. It's uh, the fourth industrial revolution, global monetary reset. Yep. And on here, on the cover of The Economist here, uh, in 1988, I believe, um, they say, get ready for world currency. You got the bird, you got the phoenix. You know, we've I've gone over this tons of times on my channel. I haven't gone over it a whole lot lately, but like a year ago, two years ago, with the bearable guy stuff, all that. Oh man, I mean, this was a... You know, Ken, the Kendra Hill stuff and all that. So, I feel like this is the spearhead. Like, he's... This is the Phoenix. I mean, he is, uh... 
I don't know what this represents. Maybe XRP. I think the Phoenix might be XRP, but also I do think that the Phoenix is representative of something bigger than just one single currency. I think it's something, um, maybe, yeah, like the basket of currencies backed by gold. It's got to be backed by something or what value does it have besides the, it's the same thing as the dollar. You know, we need something of real, like, tangible tangible value and then digital value put together you know matched together married together and then so it says 10 phoenix 10 um then it's got that symbol right in the middle with the slash you know the circle with the with the slash in the middle and then it says 2018 um some people refute that though they there are some people who say that this actually wasn't true it never said 2018 on the original so i don't know how real that is or not keep that in mind i'm not sure um <clears throat> and so also some people think that tw the 2018 was supposed to be the reset or maybe it started then or maybe when like trump went into office that changed um the way the reset was done i don't know part three here IMF and Stellar Lumens, XLM, The Rise of the Phoenix, Part 3. Okay, so then he's got these comparisons. Notice the similarity of the star symbols above the Phoenix head and the Stellar website. Both point to a constellation of stars. This is not a coincidence. It's all hidden in plain sight. Yeah, like I said before, if you don't own Stellar, you should check that out too. Yeah, um, the constellations, definitely, you know. Look at that. And then, you know, the Stellar website's interesting too. You should take a gander, check it out. Go check it out. There's some interesting stuff on it. Uh, we just need to be, we need to link the puzzle pieces together um, to connect the dots. Inside the Phoenix wings, we see price bars. Oh, we do. Whoa, interesting. And the, wow, he really examined that. That's that's something I do. In the world of technical analysis of charting and trading, these bars are called candlestick price patterns. Ah. And then the one, the bits, bits, you know, the ones and zeros are bits. So that's probably, you know, an homage to Bitcoin. Wow. And, you know, I think they're using Bitcoin as the Phoenix, to be honest. I think they're calling Bitcoin the Phoenix. You know, they're using it as the, they're saying Bitcoin this, Bitcoin that. And that's the that's the face of the Phoenix. And then, of course, all the other ones in the background that the mainstream, you know, mainstream is not talking about yet, you know. But they, they just all say Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Like, wait, well, there's so many other ones. Why is no one talking about those? They will. After they pack their bags, you know, they all pack their bags. Bitcoin's so high right now. Now they have tons of value in their Bitcoin to pack their bags slowly but surely of all the good ones. You know what I'm saying? Bitcoin ain't Bitcoin ain't nothing. Bitcoin's nothing. It's a store of value. That's that's pretty much it. But then why won't like something like XRP be a store of value if it provides enough liquidity for the world? You know, and it's faster, cheaper. You know, it's so cheap. I mean, it's nothing. It's, it's, there's no there's no fee for XRP, and there's no fee for Stellar, you know, when you, when you send them. Are we expecting an imminent move of price explosion in cryptocurrencies when the IMF is ready to release the Phoenix? Yeah, it started. I think it already started. Get ready for the rise of the Phoenix and cryptos. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the end of that thread. Um, uh, let's see, so let's just take a gander. I don't know why I'm using that word today, but <laughs> I never use that word. But let's just check out, oh, by the way, um, on the 21st, uh, Saturn and Jupiter are going to be aligned in the sky. And so that's going to be very interesting. That's going to be very, 
interesting. Um, so when you look in the sky, they'll be like hugging, basically. That's what you're going to see. Oh, thanks, man. This guy's cool. CDL Crypto. Always, always um, putting out good words for me. Yeah, I mean, look, Kevin, he, he tweeted this. If you saw my Twitter DMs, you'd think I was a customer support agent. And that's what it is. You know, same here. Um, I think people like us, we try to do, we try to help people, you know. Um, really, I think a lot of the XRP people really do just, they, we, we do want to help people, you know. We want to help people. And um, I said, hey, yeah, you know, I'm getting a lot of messages too, man. And, um, you know, so... Uh, this, uh, I think the spark airdrop is what he's talking about. A lot of, a lot of messages about that. And it, honestly, I'm kind of, I'm really tired of hearing about it. It's just like, dude, when did XRP turn into spark? You know, like <laughs> this whole flare thing, but Hey, you know, if that's the next evolution that takes XRP to the next step, then I'm all for that. I just, you know, we'll see. Um, and by the way, I think xrp is going to correct so i'm ready for that um yeah i'm i'm day trading on that notion that i think it'll correct definitely <laughs> so but i do still i i hold my regular bag of xrp and then i got my other bag uh of xrp down hey, i'm waiting for it to go down after this so that's like three times leverage or something like that the FOMO and XRP leading up to Saturday will be insane. Biggest airdrop in crypto history. Could it be, could it correct after, I already said that. Okay, so, um, where should a beginner go to learn about DeFi? <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> and go to, go to the meme community. You'll learn all about DeFi there. Oh, digital asset investor. He said there was a huge owl in the tree staring down at him that happened to me the other day let's check out that owl that's cool it was right in the middle of the street and i was riding my bike and it, the, the, there was a car about to run it over the car had to stop and the owl looked up at me and it went and it just flew away but it was i was like oh what the heck is that i had to stop and like I don't know. It was breathtaking, to be honest. Anyways, guys, uh, I guess that's it for now. So uh, I'll let you guys go, and you guys uh, have a wonderful day. Okay. Um, make sure to go go um, say something special to someone or smile at them. You know, Crypto just try to is here. brighten their now day a little. All right. A lot of people are hurting right now. Okay. The COVID shit. <sighs> Everything right now. It's not fun. It's you know. It's kind of a dark winter. Um, people are broke you know a lot of people broke and that's not a joke that that's not fun okay people it's a very stressful thing for people okay um so pray send your prayers out for them you know a lot of people asking for prayers on twitter right now send prayers out for for everyone right now okay we're all in this together all right so you guys uh, i love you guys you guys have a wonderful one and uh stay safe out there all right crypto mike out peace